careful. Excuse me. <gasps> Are you blind? Excuse me, miss. Could you please pick up the blouse? Seriously? Yes, please. Oh, of course. Twain, what are you doing? Stop that. I want you, Dora, to take the trench and wash it with your own hands in the restroom. Are you insane? Don't speak to me like that. You are so in here. Oh, that's too much. I'm going to the manager. Have fun. I got huge plans I'm for this I'm sorry, show. miss, you know but I mean? we have a trouble here. We will have trouble if you interrupt a conversation with the owner of our chain again. Okay, what's the problem? What's the issue? Um, yeah. Tell my daddy what problem you have. Uh, um... <laughs> this young lady just wiped the floor with our blouse from the new shipment. Daddy, the blouse was already on the floor. Do you think I ruined it on purpose? <laughs> Your staff just don't look after the merchandise. You're not sure? Of course, Daddy, I'm sure. All right. You're right. Staff that can keep their eyes on the merchandise has no place working in a clothing shop. That's what I think. You understand? No place! That's right, Daddy. She should know her place. Yeah, she should know her place. But you know what, sweetie? I want to make sure. Let's go check the cameras. Oh, stop, Daddy. Uh, don't you believe your own daughter? I knew it. I knew it. Susie, I'm so sorry. Please accept my apology on behalf of, of my daughter. It's okay. Mary, this isn't the first time. Susie, she's not your slave. She's a person like you and me. When, when are you gonna start treating people like people? When are you gonna stop humiliating them? God! Sweetie! I'm sorry, Daddy. I understand. I won't do it again, okay? Well, uh, may we continue now? Yes, I think it's a good idea. As an apology, I'll buy this blouse. For me, unlike you, money is no issue. Did you sing? Give me that damn. I've had enough. I've had enough of you. That's it. Finished. <laughs> Daddy, I need money. How I will buy blouse without my cart? You're going to earn it on your own as Susie's assistant. What? Are you mad? I can't be a saleswoman. I'm not mad, and yes, you're gonna work as a saleswoman. Maybe finally you'll realize how hard it is to earn the money that you spend on all your garbage. And if you don't, you're never, ever gonna see this, or you're never gonna get a dime from me. What? I have a spare uniform for you. Let's go. What are you doing with the boxes? My arms are sore. <sighs> Did you think that money was easy to make? Listen, if I can manage, so can you. And once you're done, you need to, to mop the floors here. What? <laughs> I'm not cleaner. <laughs> yes, you are. Cleaners, wear saleswomen, wear anything that is needed. I won't do it. Be careful with the detergent, though. Even the drop of this chemical on the cloth can leave a sting in the size of Titanic. Here. When you're done, I'll be waiting for you at the counter. Whatever you say, Mrs. Supervisor. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. You mean to say that you got everything done in like 10 minutes? I was wrong. I 
Mary, to understand somebody, you have to walk a mile in their shoes. Do you see what I mean? Yes, Susie. Forgive me. I have behaved terribly towards you. Do you have much love to do in the back room? Oh, I'm going crazy. Susie, please help me. Okay. <laughs> Take care of the checkout and I will quickly finish in the back room, okay? Okay. <laughs> Susie, what's going on? Weren't you out on the floor? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Adams. Um, Mary is covering the checkout, and I will be there in a minute. What the hell? What's wrong? The whole new delivery has been doused with something. This will all have to be trashed now. Detergent. Mary, this will cost us 20 grand. Listen, I'll take care of everything, okay? You can take this and throw it all away. God, Susie, how did this happen? It was not me, it was Mary's fault. No, Susie, no. This is your fault and... I'm sorry, but this is your last working week in this store. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God, what happened? Why did you have to do that? Do you think you're smarter than me? I'll spend my day here, but you will be here forever. Maybe I will learn the lesson that people like you should never tell me what to do. You're supposed to serve me. Oh, okay. I get it. I have nothing left to say to you. Hey, are there any shop assistants here or what? <sighs> Oh. Yeah, this thing. Hello? <gasps> Mary? Mary? Uh, are you saleswoman? <laughs> well, <gasps> oh, might I decide to teach me a lesson? <laughs> Can I help you with clothes size or maybe something else? <laughs> Mary, can you say something else like a saleswoman? Look, it's one and only Mary Stones. Tell us about your new business. No, please, girls, no. <laughs> what are you doing? No, 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 you'll do anything I say because you're a servant here. Hey, you are done here. Like, what do you think you're doing? The, give it back. You're not allowed to take pictures in the store. <gasps> We're going to complain. <laughs> oh, really? Listen here, you two, brats, I'm not afraid of you, clear? I can see right through you. You two are pompous girls who don't even consider your friend a human being. That's none of your business. Oh yeah, it is. Mary works here. So either you two are living right now, or I'm calling the security. Come on, she's crazy. Thank you. Did you forget? I have to serve you. Are you still mad at me? Mad? Mary, I'm not mad at you. I'm just trying to figure out how to tell my daughter that she won't get Barbie for her birthday because her mom lost a job. You have a daughter? Yes, I do. One he have. Husband. Not all women have men by their sides to solve their problems, Mary. I'm sorry, Susie. I didn't know. <sighs> Just forget it. You can go home. I'll close the door. Oh, um, 
Mr. Stones, what are you doing here so early? Hey, Susie, morning. Hi. Uh, we got our new delivery. Oh, um, yeah, we actually had a new shipment the day before yesterday. And then we had an incident with it, and... Yeah, I'm aware of that. Oh. And they've actually asked me to arrange for another shipment. Oh. I've made room, you can hold the moors. Mary. Oh. Hi, Susie. Hi. I thought you could make it before I got here. You must guess by now. Um, anyway, I owe my father much more than one blouse. Actually, I owe him about $20,000 worth of stuff. Oh, Mary, I don't know what to say. But you will not lose the job and your daughter will have a happy mother. God, what a fool I was. Susie, forgive me, please. Mary, I'm so proud of you. Listen, sweetie, you finally learned. You've learned that you can't, you can't separate people from those that are better off and those that are worse off. Because after all, you know that tomorrow you can end up in their shoes. Thank you, Daddy. Mm. And sweetie, you've chosen the right path. And I know, I'm 100% sure that you're gonna succeed. Come on, give me a hug. Succeed? What are you up to? Uh, nothing. I've decided that I've had enough of relying on my daddy's money and I've got a debt to pay. I'm going to look for a job. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Very good. Okay. See you. Wait. I think we have an open position for assistant. <gasps> You'll be a good fit for it. Oh, thank you. 